really need to, to keep pushing and make it through. And one of my last questions, what's the style of running back that you're watching with the kids running back? Because are you like going down, you know, side to side, you know, are you going you know, downhill running or what? Are you watching your kid? Uh, you know, it's, I watched a lot of running backs growing up. Um, I like to say that my style is pretty much one cut and go. I like to make that first cut and, you know, cover as much ground as I can. But uh, growing up, I, I watched a lot of running backs. You know, right now, I'm a big fan of Alvin Jamar. But in, in the college realm, I like Dalvin Cook. I like players like uh, Najee Harris and things like that. So uh, just seeing their all playing styles come together and how they were successful to help their offense, I kind of pulled bits and pieces from a lot of different backs to kind of model my game. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, talk a little bit about you know, trying to get your time, you know, break through that second and third level a little bit. Instead of just being that level, that kind of guy, how has that kind of worked out for you? Is that kind of working out for you? Is that um, um, yeah, you know, it's definitely a challenge, and it's one of those things that I'm taking with a great mindset because the more I can do, the better I can market myself and the better I can be for this team. So um, I, I've taken it with a lot of you know thought, and I've gone into practice, and I've been more uh, diligent in my steps and just trying to focus on the little things that will help me get to where I need to be. So, you know, second and third level cuts are something that I figured I struggle with, and you know, the other coaches, they feel as though I can use a little bit of help with that as well. So just getting reps in practice and learning how to, to get through those scenarios. So once I see them on game day, they're easy to miss and you know, make some more plays for my team. To make such a big jump from year one to year two, have a breakout season last year, what are some of the challenges of going into that third year or feeling like there's any pressure to maybe get anywhere near a similar jump? Um, I feel like it's not really hard because I play on a team that you know believes in me and it makes me work hard. It makes me work really hard to keep this team afloat, really, um, you know, I don't really go into many things with personal goals, but um, I know if I can do my job and have a successful season, it'll help the team. So uh, going into my third year after having a year last year, I just want to make progress. You know, first year I was, you know, red shirt, off kind of learning the playbooks. Second year I was able to get on the field and kind of make a name for myself. Now it's kind of like elevating that, you know, getting more uh, out of myself because I feel like I left it out on the field. Well, you're making an impact because on our office wall, there's a picture of you breaking through Three wolf pack defenders, uh, just an explosive run. Uh, just flashing back to NC State game. My God, those guys talk a lot. Yes, sir. Yes, it, it was, yes. Is that a little more more chatter on the field than usual? Uh, yeah, you know, um, it was good spirited though. I will say because you know we all were just happy to make it to a bowl game. Um, anytime you can play after December, you know that you have a pretty decent season. But um, you know, we don't play in the ACC anymore, so we don't really get to hear what they got going on over there. But they definitely had a lot to say. Yeah, but us old guys, Dave over there remembers the ACC pretty well. So yes, sir. It's yes, nice sir. to beat them. Uh, usually, they put you out there to talk after the games. Is that something you look forward to, coming out and seeing the media? Um, you know, it comes with it, so I definitely have to, you know, learn how to cope with it if it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. I really love to, you know, give insight on what happened and what I saw in the game. So, you know, it, I definitely take it with pride because being one of the spokespeople of the team, it's like I'm able to share a little bit of our story and, you know, a little bit about what happened and, you know, keep the fans engaged. Yeah, and you're good at it. Last question. Anything behind the number 24? Did you pick that or did they give that to you? Um, it was the number I was given, uh, you know, once I came in here. I didn't really care what number they gave me. I knew I wanted to make a name for myself, which was whatever number they gave me. And um, 24 was the number I got, and I'm so glad because I love the number. My family loves the number, and I get to, you know, represent every weekend. All right, we'll see you after the game Thank during you. the season. Thanks. Yes, sir, I appreciate it.